It's winter, seventeen, seventeen. This is video, video, sorry, seventy-nine of my Empire Total War United Provinces campaign. We're finishing off a, a sea battle that was begun on the last video, video seventy-eight, and a uh, bit of a grueling one. We lost some ships. We had one ship, if you remember, that was um, getting away. It's quite a distance away, and it's taken me a long time to chase it down. So um, I've cut that bit out because it's uh, just a bit boring watching me chase a ship trying to get away. Um, this is us now, just catching up with it, boarding it. The other two of his ships there are surrendered. Oh, we're doing this for prize money, if you remember. Close victory, that's fair enough, because we suffered in that one. Decent prize money. You got a chance to have a look at that. And that's where we were off the, uh, off the west coast of Spain when we did that. We've been uh, pretty lucky picking off uh, Spanish galleons around this area. Sometimes on their way to Americas, it seems. Um, but we've had about four or maybe even five actions now with this uh, particular fleet. So I'm going to send it home. Um, I wasn't too bothered about losing ships, as you remember, because... Uh, it was just costing me money to sustain these quite old ships anyway. Um, but the, uh, this fleet now is really quite in danger of just getting completely blown out of the water by you know, three or four Spanish galleons. So I'm just checking on uh, France again. Let's see where we are. Taxation's quite low. I'm keeping it taxed. Just having a look what happens if I don't tax it. We're still going to get rebellion, whatever happens, and this is why I put lots of troops in there, and this is why I've been having my uh, my fleets gain prize money for me, so I can afford them. Um, I'm over-inflating my economy, really. I'm, I'm buying things that are well above what I can actually sustain. Um, but the main reason is it gives me enough troops in France um, during the time that I'm, I'm building up the economy um, to be able to sustain a rebellion, really or rather defeat a rebellion, because it's bound to happen. If you remember, I said to you that, um, uh, that that we want a rebellion to happen, because it means that there'll be far more repression in the region, so I'll be able to tax it properly then. Having a quick look round for that potential Spanish invasion. There must be one there somewhere. And Marseille is a major earner for me now that, uh, um, now that we're trading with so many other nations because we've got this commercial base in. So I do need to protect it. I've put everything in there that I possibly can. Upgraded things. Um, uh, you know, if you remember the cavalry and uh, were, were, were sort of dotted around anyway. Um, and the pikemen were as well from early on in the game. Um, I'm getting um, a general in there as well. Just click the star button and it creates a general for you. It costs 800 for the, the Dutch, which isn't a great expense. Uh, but it gives me a little bit of extra cavalry there and an, an, adi an additional unit as well. Um, on top of that, of course, it um, it enables me to recruit in that area as well. I can't recruit directly. I'll recruit from the nearest, you know, nearest recruitment area. Need to think about the future. Do you remember I've overinflated this economy? I'm spending money that I'm not making on a regular basis. I'm relying on the fleet to do that. So I'm now looking to um, improve anything that I can that isn't going to give me um, a minus in terms of happiness in any of the regions that I'm in. Um, there's no point in in throwing um, uh, a state into um, uh, into um, a rebellious state uh, when I've got so few troops in the area that I wouldn't be able to handle the rebellion I'd probably end up losing the whole place same thing here, quick look over at uh, Ceylon just to see what we can do in terms of um, improving the buildings here uh, I, I will be thinking of course in the future about um, an invasion into India, so I need to be moving some of these troops out of here. I'm taxing it extremely highly at the moment, um, obviously because I've got so many troops in Europe, I'm having to feed them all and uh, recruit new ones. Uh, but it is very high, uh, and you can see up there on the top of the screen uh, that, that, particularly for the nobility, uh, they're quite unhappy. Um, it is cumulative, the effects of high taxation, so it's not just instantly dropped when you drop it down, you know, they're still suffer from the fact that they've had high taxation. So, I'm going to drop that for a bit. The uh, last thing I want really is a rebellion in Ceylon at the moment. Mind you, I've got the troops to cope with it, so it might not be such a bad thing. Again, looking for buildings that I can get that aren't going to throw the state into, um, uh, into rebellion. 
Now here's my other issue, having taken France, building France, putting an army in there that will sustain a rebellion, putting troops down into uh, Marseille as well, um, is leaving Europe a, a bit sparse. Westphalia are quite powerful around there, and whilst they're friendly at the moment, you never know. Württemberg are, are at war with me, um, in the centre of the screen there. I do need to make sure that I've got a decent army in here. Anybody watching my earlier videos will know that uh, I'm not bad at defending fortresses. and I've um, put fortresses around all of these vulnerable areas in, in Europe. So um, I, I expect with, say, half a dozen troops, foot troops, to be able to sustain attacks from well, quite decent armies, really. Because an army mixed up of um, artillery and cavalry and infantry it's only going to have something like eight or maybe at the most ten foot units in it um, and I can manage to hold off with four or five um, eight to ten foot units in a fortress he says crossing his fingers notice the capital there there's only got four in it but you'll also notice all those grey um, dots all the way or grey rectangles all the way along down the side of the flag there those are my Philoc Arms citizenry so I've just put the gentleman that I got um, in France uh, moved him into uh, my school there near Amsterdam if you remember I lost my gentleman in um, in Cambridge in Britain which is a bit sad because I like to steal their naval technology so I might even think about replenishing those two nations here that I'm friendly with. I like the British being around in the English Channel, to be honest with you, because um, if their enemies are the same as mine, then it keeps them away from my major trading area, which is um, right up there on the... Um, well, well, it's at Amsterdam, basically. Probably Rotterdam, actually, isn't it? I'll think about it. OK, these are Austria's moves. So we'll just go through the principal countries' moves. That's Britain, Austria, and then Spain. These are the automated moves, of course, that are made at the turn end. Uh, and we, we should be approaching now the summer of 1718. The Austrians are friends, they're becoming quite active. The Spanish are very definitely not friends. There's a ship going towards their port down very near Marseille. I do worry that they're just going to move that across and blockade Marseille, which isn't good. OK, that's the end of the turn. Lots of things have happened. OK, recruitment report, ministerial report, uh, technological advances. Um, just make sure we put the gentleman back in there to steal his research again. So he's actively doing something. Okay, building. They're the churches in France, so that should help settle the population. And we're going to have to boot out one of these ministers. So it's probably going to be the the military one. We've got a lot of uh, land unit, excuse me, land units at the moment, and um, they're costing a lot to sustain. So if we can. Um, if we can improve that situation, then maybe the amount that we're spending on our armed forces will improve. And also the cost of recruiting them will improve as well. OK, so in the turn end, we're now, like I said, in the um, summer of 1718. Just need to check how well France is doing now that the... Um, uh, the churches uh, are grown, of course. The uh, pleasure gardens there, they give me a massive increase, you know, when I improve those. They get up to something like a plus four or a plus five or something. Yeah. Would have been nice to have allowed France to um, build that for me, because on a number of occasions they've tried to upgrade that building and I've just destroyed it each time. But, of course, I had to do it in order to to reduce the expenditure on... Um, on, on his army, or of course his buildings where he could um, c uh, build better armies. OK, so having a quick check on Europe, quick check round, see if I can see those Spanish, see where they are. Uh, nothing seems to be there. So now we have to deal with the rebellion. Unfortunately there won't be room, room to fit that on to this video, so what I'm going to have to do is um, arrange for that battle to go on to the next one.